So for today's video, we're going to be reviewing the Assassin 4S, the brand new air cooler from Deepcool. Whenever we review Deepcool products, isa lang yung sinasabi namin. It's premium quality components at not so premium of cost. But this time, it's different. But we'll get to that later. So the Assassin 4S really is a slimmer or a redox version of its bigger brother, the Assassin 4. So similarly to its big brother, it features yung streamlined and yung very striking na aesthetics niya, but with all the reduced size and technology. So the Assassin 4S features a 140mm fan, which is kind of embedded into the design of the tower itself. So it's a dual tower design that sandwiches the fan between it, and it's attached in a very clever way, parang yung mga hard drive caddies sa mga cases. So it snaps on in the middle, and all around it are mesh shrouds. That's why if you look at the cooler, you don't see the fans at all. So like its big brother, it also has the quiet and performance mode switch right at the front of the cooler. So you can either have the up to 1,800 RPM of the fan, or slightly around 900 RPM if you do not require that much cooling, or if you just need the silent operation. So what's different with the 4S than the Assassin 4 is that this can only take one fan. So for reference, the bigger brother, the Assassin 4, has two fans. So one in the sandwich position, and the other embedded at the back. Plus, the Assassin 4 also features a method where you can mount your very own 120mm fan. Dito sa Assassin 4S, wala yun. So this is because the Assassin 4S is designed as a streamlined and more accessible cooler, especially for smaller builds. Do sa mga glam shots not, and you can see that we've actually built it in a CH160 case. And honestly, it fits perfectly. It's as if it was created just for the CH160. And I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. So with its smaller footprint, you don't have to really think about clearances. There's no RAM clearance issues. There's no clearance issues at the back of the case for motherboard VRMs and whatnot, allowing you to put it in a lot of configurations. So okay, so it looks good. It will fit in my case. What about performance? For the heatsink, as mentioned, it is a dual tower configuration. Ang tawag ng deep cool is their dual black coated fins and it features seven 6mm heat pipes. And sabi rin ng deep cool, the shroud all over it is not just for looks. It helps vent out air, particularly hot air, so that it's funneled out of the back of the cooler and not everywhere in your case. So for testing, we did test it with a 14600K CPU and a B760 motherboard in an open test bench setting. And here are the results. Ambient temperature should be around 25 degrees to 26 degrees. And as you can see, at Cinebench R24 with the 14600K pegged at 100% usage, it averages at around 79 or 80 degrees and maxes out at 86 degrees, scoring 1350. So as you can see, it is a bit toasty, but the 14600K is known to be a very hot CPU. So performance-wise, it's not the greatest air cooler we've seen here at Harbor Sugar. But I don't think Deepcool was gunning for that top spot anyways. In conclusion, what is this cooler for? It's a 164mm tower, so it is quite big. While it's not the best in performance, in my opinion, it does make up for it with the looks and the aesthetics. And of course, the aforementioned lack of clearance issues with any other component in your system. This is what I mentioned in the opening of this review. So if you have a CH160, if you're planning for taller RAM, or if your motherboard has those gigantic VRM heat sinks, getting the Assassin 4S is a very good idea because it saves you all the hassle and the headache of finding out that your components do not fit. If you're not going to be using a CPU higher than a 14600K with this cooler, and you know, why would you? The performance actually is not that bad. This is one of those cases where a certain product kind of does away with performance a bit to deliver on aesthetics and compatibility. And you know, let's face it, some of these air coolers can be ugly pieces of shit. <laughs> but of course, not the Assassin 4S. Of course, all our systems require different things. Some of us are on team performance always, where we don't care if it's color brown or silver, <laughs> just as long as it gives the best cooling possible. However, for some of us who would like our system to look actually good, this is a really good alternative or compromise. You know, I'm not completely saying that the performance is outright bad. No, the 14600K is a very hot CPU, and the cooler turned out really good performance actually. It's just not the best. So can we recommend this cooler? Of course! If you're one of our many customers who've already bought your CH160, this is the best cooler to get for that system. 
But of course, it's not limited to that case only. If you have an M80X case that allows for at most 164mm tall cooler and you want it to actually look good, you should get the Assassin 4S. It comes in black and white, so Deepcool has got you covered there. But one thing I mentioned earlier was that this is kind of different for Deepcool. I mentioned that the old adage about Deepcool where it's premium quality products and for not so premium of a cost kind of does not apply here. Yes, it is premium quality, but while here at Harvey Sugar, we still do not have pricing for this. In the US, the SRP for this is $80. That's kind of a steep price for a cooler of this performance where there are a lot of other alternatives with better performance. But again, that only applies if you're solely looking for performance. If you're looking for a solid cooler and you're willing to pay the extra premium for really good aesthetics, then we can recommend the Assassin Forest. Thank you for watching.